how to turn a plastic table into a lounge chair. Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. This is a hard plastic table that I'm gonna be converting into a lounge chair. And I got this from Ikea. I actually got two so that I would use the top of the other one for the base. For the base of the chair, I'll be needing just the bottom part of this table piece. The table has five legs and it's well fortified, that's why I could use this for seating. I covered the legs and then attached the legs to the other table part that I had detached earlier. I'll be attaching these tabs on the screw heads so that they don't scratch the floor while moving it around. This is sturdy enough to sit on. I'll be using plastic sheet that I got from Home Depot to cover up the space in the middle. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be covering this with one inch foam. The middle part has to be open, but this is too wide and my foam was not long enough, so I will be cutting another little piece to add to it. This is a form tube that can be gotten from any hardware store. That's for another project entirely. But then I cut 15 inches off of this one to use for my project. And after cutting, I also made cuts, straight long cuts, to make it easy for me to fold it to give me the shape that I want for my design. This will also be covered with foam.
for my project, I'll be using full leather that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to keep the leather aside for now and make the points for my tufting on the foam. The points are about 4 inches apart. I eyeballed this so it's not completely accurate, but yeah, it's close to about 4 inches. And then when I was done, I used a pair of scissors to make the holes. These holes make the tufting look deeper. And I'm using a 1 inch foam for my tuft so it won't be too deep. So the holes that I'm making will make it even better. All I'm doing now is using my hands to locate where the holes are and using my staple gun to staple it down. I stapled down the fabric by the sides and realized the width is too much, so I had to reduce it, which gave me another ring on my design, which was never really my intention. So I'm going to figure out how to work around the double ring that I have here. After attaching the fabric here, I went ahead to tuft the other piece that's for the top. I left some space here at the bottom, but then I later decided to cover it up. Corner braces will be used to hold this in place. And I didn't have a lot of the longer corner braces, so I mixed them up with the long ones and the short ones. So I would strongly recommend using the longer ones since you'll be resting your back on this part of the design. I used the leftover gold fabric from Joanne to cover up the double ring mistake that I had made and then used the decorative trim around it. I spray painted some Walmart gems gold to cover up the staple pins. Now this is not permanent, I used just a hot glue gun to see if I was going to like the gold on this, but then I later changed what I have here that's covering the staple pins with crystal buttons. I removed the gold fabric and replaced it with bling wrap just to see what it was going to look like. And out of the two, later in the future, I would choose the one I prefer most. This holds a lot of weight as you can see from the beginning of the video. And during the video, I sat on it and it is really sturdy. I'm just trying out different places where I could have this situated at. And when I've made up my mind, I will let you guys know. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and watching this video. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And if you haven't already, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Created.